Hello, my name is Casey Scobie, and today I have the honor of introducing to you Natalie Owens. Since my first day at St. Mary's of fresh, or since my first day of St. Mary's freshman year, I have always noticed that Natalie has a smile on her face. She is a caring and funny person who is always there to make you laugh. During our faith and doubt class junior year, although I may not have always known what was happening, Natalie seemed to. I enjoyed hearing the wonderful things she said in class, and I'm sure today will be no different. I don't want to take any more of her time, so without further delay, I give you Natalie Ann Owens. It is dark and quiet outside with no cars in sight. All the lights except for our court lights are off. You can hear the buzzing of the bugs and feel the humidity in the air. We are terrible tennis players, yet we still go every week late at night to play. We hit the ball back and forth with our rackets, never getting more than two hits in before somebody messes up. We never keep score, we just play and play. Eventually it gets late and we get tired, so we decide to stop. We spend the rest of the night hanging out in the parking lot or talking while driving around. Eventually, we all end up at our own homes, knowing that in a few days we'll be back at the tennis courts. We don't play because we are passionate about tennis. We play because we enjoy spending time together and it is something to do late at night when nothing else is open. No tennis session is the same. There are different people there each time. Despite how often we played, we never got better at it. In fact, we never focused on improving our skills. That is not what was important to us. What mattered was that we were able to spend time together, being around people we knew we could count on. As summer ended and we all became busy, the tennis, hangouts and the tennis nights and hangouts became less frequent. However, that didn't change anything. I knew who my people were, and I knew that I could re still rely on them, despite the tennis nights coming to an end. As famous author Nicholas Sparks once said, things changed, people changed, and the world went rolling along right outside the window. The world is moving at an astronomical pace, so it is crazy to think that my life is not going to change with the world. Nobody here is immune to change, and it's inevitable. Change can be hard, people fight and drift apart, and it can feel like your life is over. However, there is always light in the dark. From change, remarkable things can happen. I have gone through rough times and experienced change in ways I never could have imagined. I have drifted apart from family and friends who I once saw as pillars in my life, and it was not easy. You do not know my struggles, and I do not know yours, but what I do know is this. In dark times of change, I was able to find my tennis players, the people I can count on to pick me up. And if I can, you can. I was able to rely on the people who I didn't know cared so much about me. We all have or will experience rough patches of change in our lives. But from that, I encourage you to find your tennis players, the people who will stick with you no matter what or no matter how much y'all have changed. Whether you find that through school, work, or your family, know who your people are. To my supportive class of 2025, who I know I can always count on, you all have been some of my best friends for the past 15 years of my life. I have enjoyed every moment getting to grow up and experience life changes with y'all. As we all go our separate ways and experience more change, know that you have 72 friends who will unconditionally support you and have your back no matter what. To my friends and family, thank you for sticking with me, even through the tougher times. I know I can count on y'all and I am so thankful to have you in my life. Y'all are my tennis players, the people who lift me up and support me no matter what. I have found my people and that is something I will never let go of. Thank you.